Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're going to be looking at spreadsheets and how to control a part design object via a spreadsheet with depth, width, height and thickness and also including a scale factor where we can change the scaling factor and everything else is recalculated changing the size of the box that we created. We'll go through creating this box and hooking up a spreadsheet to it in a very simple example and we're going to keep it under 15 minutes or thereabouts so i hope you're enjoying these videos and let's have a look at this technique if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to the site i also have a ko-fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire and that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0 i also run a patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content and that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. So for the first example of using a spreadsheet to drive a model, we're going to start in FreeCAD with a new document and we're going to come over to the part design workbench. Within this workbench, I'm going to create a new body and we're going to create a new sketch. And we're going to place it along the XY plane. What I'm looking to do is create a hollowed out box and then change the dimensions of that via a spreadsheet. For that, we're just gonna add a box in here and then press the right mouse button or escape to get the mouse pointer back and using these two points, just selecting them and the center point, we're gonna use a symmetry constraint between those. This is just to keep it symmetrical to the center. We don't have to do this, it just means that the center point is kept in the center of this box. We're now gonna add some height and the dimensions here don't really matter. So I'm just gonna add any dimensions in here. We're gonna drive this from the spreadsheet and we'll add some length as well using a length constraint. And I'm just gonna add 60 millimeters on there this is our base dimensions that we're going to change. So we have a fully constrained rectangle or box in there. Let's hit close. And then we're going to pad this using the add a pad to the sketch. So it's selected. We add the pad. And again, length doesn't really matter. So we're going to add 50 millimeters, whatever dimensions we want on there. So we have a box we're now going to use the thickness to hollow out the box. So select the face that we want to hollow out. So I'm going to go for the top one and come up to part design, apply dress up and the thickness. This adds thickness to the walls. It will place its thickness outwards. So we look on the left hand side, we get this thickness parameters, it shows the face that's been selected and we want to make the thickness inwards. And then we're going to decide on the thickness of our walls. I'm going to go for five millimeters. So five millimeters long there and hit okay. Now all the dimensions that I've added, I'm going to drive from a spreadsheet. So we can easily change these. For that, we need to jump into the spreadsheet workbench. It's this one here. And we have a cut down version of a spreadsheet. So we have create a new spreadsheet. We can import a CSV file. We can export and we've got a number of merge cells aligned cells here. First, we need to create a new spreadsheet. So this is our spreadsheet here. If we double click it, we go into the spreadsheet. What we're going to do is add some labels in here for the length, width, height, etc. So we're going to give our box a length. We're going to give it a width, a height, and also a wall thickness. So where it's been hollowed out, we're just going to make sure we can change the thickness of that wall. Matter of fact, I'm just going to call this thickness. So we've four parameters that we can change in here. Next, I'm gonna add some values in here. So for the time being, we're gonna add 50, 40, 60, and the thickness of our walls. 
are going to be free. So for the time being, these are our parameters. Now to get these parameters into our model, there are two ways. The first way is to reference it by cell. So our length will be B1. Our second way is to get this cell an alias, which is much easier. And that's just to type in the alias in here and to give it a name. So this can be any name. So I'm going to call this one length. And then it's important to hit the enter key. And what will happen is this will turn yellow. So you can see if I click on this cell, we've got an alias there. And we'll do the same for the others. Hit enter. I'm pressing down arrow to move to the next cell. Call this alias of height. And this alias of thickness. So we've got our four parameters in there. So let's plug these into our box. So I'm going to move down this and first look at the pad. And inside here, we have our sketch. Now we can come into our sketch and decide which parameters we're going to be using for these. We can change the names of them as well. And we'll do that in a moment. So I've got this 60 millimeter length here and also this 50 millimeter length. Now looking at the spreadsheet, we have a length and the width. So maybe this one should be called depth, but we can leave it like that and change in a moment. So we'll look at this one, we're gonna call this one width. So we double click our constraints and then we use this little icon at the end, this formula icon. If I click on that, we get our formula editor up. At the moment, it says 60 millimeters. Now note, these are in red, these constraints. If I start typing spreadsheet in here, you'll see the spreadsheet will come up. Click on that, it adds a dot. Now we can start typing, say width, and the width will appear, or length, and the length will appear. Please note that this is case sensitive. So if I press L in here, then it won't come up, but an uppercase L, then we'll get the length. I set this one to width. You'll notice the result has been set to 40. If I hit enter, I can then hit okay to set that. You can see it's grayed out in there. If I want to edit it, I can come back into here and edit it in here. Let's hit okay. You'll notice this has been changed to 40 and now it's highlighted in orange. That means it's a sternly reference. So this has been referenced from the spreadsheet. Go back to the spreadsheet. We can see the width there. If we change this width to say 50 and hit enter and go back to our sketch, the minute we come out of this sketch and go back into it, you can see the width has changed. Let's change this one and do the same process. So spreadsheet dot length. So at the moment 50, say okay. So we've got this one, which is our width, and this one, which is our length. Let's hit close. And now if we go to this spreadsheet, and change, say the length to 80 and hit enter. Let's go back to our model. We can see that's changed. So this length has increased. So that's hook up the height now. So to hook up the height, we want to go to the pad and we will want to look down at the original padding, which is the length, or we can double click that pad and select the length from here. Again, we've got the formula editor. Click that and type in spreadsheet. Height and hit OK. If you're OK there, you can see 
that the thickness has now disappeared because we're dealing with the pad and that one is currently visible. So we make the thickness here visible. We can see that's taken and all's okay. Now let's change the thickness. At the moment, we look down here, we can see the thickness value is set to five millimeters and we can change it there. Or we can come in and double click that thickness and change it here. We can clear the contents. So for instance, if I type spreadsheet dot thickness and hit OK, you can see that it's grayed out in there. If I click here and hit clear, we go back to our original value. Hit OK. Now we've got the thickness in there. Hit OK again. And now this box can be controlled from the spreadsheet. So we change this thickness, say eight, come back to our box. You can see that's changed in there. Like so. If we change the name in the spreadsheet, so we've got the length here. Let's change this to depth. Our label hasn't changed yet. So we look at the, the actual alias. You can see we've got the length there. Change this to depth. Hit enter and make sure that's taken. Let's go back to our model and have a look at the sketch. So we can see we've got the 50 millimeters here, which is the width, and this 80 millimeters here, which is now change to the depth. So these automatically get updated when we change the labels. One thing that you may want to do is when you've got your model on screen, you may want to see the spreadsheet side by side to see how this model is changing. For that, we're going to undock this window from the spreadsheet. We cannot at the moment undock the spreadsheet. So we come up to the view document window and you'll notice undock is actually grayed out, but we can undock our main view. Come down to document window and undock. Now we have the two, which we can position. And we can see them changing by entering values into the spreadsheet and seeing it change on the right hand side here. I've actually put this into error at the moment. So you'll see there was no changes, but once I started changing these again, and release the thickness from its error, we're all okay. To get this back, all we do, we click on the window, make sure we're in like the center of the document, right click, and we come down to the document window and then docked. Now we'll place it back in with our free CAD. We don't come up to view document window and then dot from here for that window because it won't work. It won't actually dot back in. One thing to remember is that we've got formulas in here as well. So for instance, I can come in here and add say a scale factor. And we'll add, this time we'll set it to one. And also we can click on this, come over to alias and set this to scale factor. 
hit enter. So this is now a label. And then we can take each of these. So this one here, and then use the scale factor for these. So I'm going to copy the values over here. So 10, 30, 80, two and one. And then from there, I'm going to come over to where we have the label already set to depth. So all these yellow ones and come in here and type in C and it will be C one, which has to first start with an equals. So we're adding a formula actually in the spreadsheet here. And we're going to times that by this one here, which is a scale factor. So this one here, I don't need this one here. We can get rid of that. So times and type in scale and we get the scale factor there and hit enter. So when this scale factor changes, this one here, let's get rid of this because it's proving to be problematic for me to explain this. So let's come into this scale factor and set this to two. You see this will update. So we can use the same methods, but because they're under each other, what we can do is click on one, hit control C on the keyboard, and then hit control V here. And you can see we've got C2 times scale factor. So we've gone from C1 to C2. If I hit control V again, C3, control V, C4, and we've got the scale factor here. So we can change this to two, And we have those there and we can sit here and change this as well and this will update. Let's go back to our document and let's change the scale factor. So at the moment we've got it as two. Let's set this to one. So everything's changed here and we can see that scale factor is actually working. So you can see how we can use formulas inside the spreadsheet to control our work. So the spreadsheet will allow us to remodel the item, driving it from the spreadsheet rather than going in and changing the geometry, pads and thickness individually. Allowing for a much more optimized workflow. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash mang0 i also run a patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content and that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and i'll see you again soon